Our reading for Saturday comes from John's Gospel, chapter 20. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed. For as yet, they did not understand the scripture that he must be risen from the dead. It was on the Saturday that he was not there. Those who don't like corpses can't stay away from graveyards unless there's something, some prohib prohibition to stop them re revisiting the dead end of their hopes and their dreams. It's as if they think they, that should the voice speak again, it will speak there, or a sunbeam will dance, or a flower will, will shoot, and give a sign of misinterpreted life. But close the cemetery or confine through custom or constraint the wailing ones to the house and it looms larger. The loss, the lostness, the losers. Men shiver in an upstairs room, warm though the day is. Women weep in an uncharmed circle. Memory is forced upon memory. The mind's eye tries to trace the profile and the face, the smile, the gentle twitching nose, and fails. And a panic sets in because it seems he can't be remembered. Was he ever known? It was on the Saturday that he was not there. Let us pray. Holy God, as we realize the depth of your love for us and for all your creation, fill us with that sense of holy awe that will assist us in true worship of you. We dedicate ourselves this day to a new awareness of our place of responsibility in your creation and we seek your mercy and grace to lead us into paths of righteousness. We are your children. Cover us with your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord I will rejoice. 
Look to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord I will rejoice. Look to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near.